I'm going to describe an interactive simulation that models the injection of a liquid into an evacuated isothermal tank. And so the simulation allows you to vary the temperature of the tank and the moles injected. So in this case, if we inject one mole, that corresponds to 0 0.08 liters of liquid propane. And then when we press the inject button, it will show us how much liquid, how much vapor, and what the pressure is in the tank. And we have two options. We can select either propane, which is a relatively high vapor pressure component, or toluene, which is a, a lower vapor pressure component. So this is what the simulation looks like. In this case, 54 degrees. We injected 1.6 moles of propane, and we have both vapor and liquid. So the pressure here then is the saturation pressure at 54 degrees C. The volume of liquid is 0.22 moles, represents a much smaller volume than the vapor volume. And so we've actually exaggerated the volume of the liquid in this figure just to make it clear that we have some liquid present. So let's look at the interactive simulation. So here's the simulation. You see we can select either propane or toluene. And let's make the temperature high and let's inject a smaller amount. If I select inject, and you'll see that we have only vapor present, no liquid. The pressure is lower than saturation pressure. Now, if I increase the number of moles that we inject it, where the temperature is such that we don't have any liquid present. But if I lower the temperature, now we're at saturation. And let me, let me just go back and lower the number of moles. So if I lower the temperature, we're, we're at saturation condition now. So saturation pressure 7.74 bar is 16 degrees C. If I inject more moles, it all goes into liquid phase and then it actually starts to decrease the volume of the vapor phase slightly because the liquid, of course, occupies some volume. But the remember the amount of volume occupied by the liquid is small compared to this total volume. Total volume is two liters and the volume of the liquid based on this diagram is about 0.07 liters or so. So you'll notice I raise the temperature and we have more and more vapor, but also the color, the intensity of the color in the vapor phase increases. So the, the intensity in the vapor phase is proportional to the number of moles in the vapor phase. And we can continue to increase this and make it darker. High enough temperature, again, all vapor reset back to our initial conditions of injection. So it's important to remember here that the pressure in the tank is always at saturation pressure if we have two phases or it's lower than saturation pressure.